Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and here is the new CCM P90TM Blade video. You can see it right there. It's called the Tavares now. It first came out on the FT3 Pro. I have a review of the a snapshot review of the FT3 Pro at in the description and at the end of this video. So check that out if you're interested. But before that, if your team is buying new jerseys for hockey. And for Beer League, make sure you check out jerseysmadeeasy.com by using the link in the description and on the right for the card. For a limited time, you can get 20% off your purchase of custom socks with your purchase of custom team jerseys. And I will get a percent a kickback from that sale, which will help fund this channel. I have a couple videos on the different jersey materials, sock materials that might help you in your decisions. So make sure you check those out. CCM came out and I'll overlay some images right now. The P90TM which is a mix between uh, P28 and a 29, which can be seen on the video. It is kind of their response to the max blade heights that Bauer and um, Warrior are now doing. And so you can see my P92M from Bauer, which is a taller height. So basically you can see the difference between these two sticks right here. The rainbow ones, that's a P92 or P29, that's a P92. You can see the height difference on the Bauer is quite significant. Basically, so less of a chance for pucks to bounce over. Um, it doesn't really change the playability of the stick. It plays the same in my opinion. I don't notice a difference going from one to the other, but I do notice myself knocking pucks out of the air more and pucks not bouncing over my stick as much. So it's a nice kind of just, just maximizing that surface area so pucks won't really jump around as much. For comparison, instead of making a max blade height stick for retail, I don't know if they have one for pros, um, CCM decided to go with this stick, which is the P90TM. It, it's Like I said, it's a blend between the 29 and 28, um, but hopefully you can see the differences. It's basically taller throughout this piece right here. You can really see how the 92 like, kind of slims through it, where this one's more flat and that one kind of slopes. The new 90 is flatter, so it gives kind of the idea of a max blade height without really going into the full max blade height and making all new molds for that stick, um, for that curve and everything like that. They're kind of giving another option. I was kind of, I was critical of this before I used it because I want, I really like those max blade heights now and I'll always pick a stick with it because I find it does give you those advantages like I spoke of. And I didn't think I would like the toe curve on it. So all of these blades, when you, you can kind of rock them on the ground and you can like see if you look kind of under it, you can see the parts that aren't touching anymore. Um, the difference is only one of these blades, you can feel a flat spot and that's the 90 TM. Um, basically you can feel like it feels like it doesn't like stop you from rolling the blade over towards the toe, but you can feel that flat spot where all the other ones kind of rocker consistently where this one, it rockers and hits and then it had, and then you can feel it rocker in, but you, you can feel that flat spot. The point of that is to change the lie and to create, uh, to increase how much of the blade is on the ice at all times. I definitely, I don't notice, I don't know if I notice it when shooting, but I can, like you definitely notice that, like that, that flat spot when playing, but I don't know if it makes a difference in my shot. I don't have the mechanical skills to kind of, and like the knowledge of that to go into it. So I'm not gonna talk about it, but you definitely notice that more of the stick is on the ice. What I can tell you that will do is I have noticed in the past when you reach for sticks or when you're like when you reach for pucks or when like it's a puck's really in tight when then you end up kind of moving the stick upwards and you're, you end up on the toe and pucks kind of can slip under the blade. That flat part will kind of help you with that to, because more of the blade will be on the ice. So it will kind of stop those more often than not. Ideally it would help with shooting as well because you'd have more blade contact on the ice. So you'd get more consistency in that sense. And while this and while this was kind of CCM's answer to the max blade height, I do want to point out that it really doesn't, um, because as you can see here, the max blade height on the Bauer is still taller all the way through, um, so you do get that more height. It's not massive like it used to be. So there, you can really see the difference in the blade height. Like it was a big difference on the CCM and the Bauer before. So the the 90 pulls it in closer. It's still not quite there, but it's it is much better than what that was. Um, so that's a nice change in that sense. So starting with the jet speed, uh, FT2, FT3 Pro, which is the P90 TM blade, you can see just in this neutral, neutral position, how much of the blade is actually on the ground. So, and when you lean it up, you can see how it comes off obviously. And then when it leans there. So 
the part I was talking about is like basically right here, you can feel kind of that flat spot right here and then it rolls over. So unlike other sticks, it kind of just rolls co like constantly. This one, you can really feel that flat spot. But when you look at the all like the, the actual roll, a lot more of the blade is in contact with the table than it would normally. The lie did change a little bit on this as well. So when here is the P29. Now this is my FT2 stick. You can see kind of how the heel and the neutral spot is up and the toe is up. And when you rocker on the heel, you can see how a lot more of the toe goes up and then same with on the toe. And there's, there isn't really that flat spot. It kind of just rockers evenly like that. And as well as when it, and it's in its neutral spot, because it's less on the heel, the lie in my opinion is a little higher than it is that kind of down here. So it's about like that. You can see that if you're in tight, the heel will come off. And if you're really reaching like that, the toe will come off. So that's kind of where the um, pucks, like the difference with the pucks is. And more heel on the ice and blade on the ice when you're reaching out. And here's a 28, which has more of that toe. Um, so as you can see, it rockers just like the 92. And neutral position's kind of about right there. Again, this isn't a CCM stick, so it's not a totally fair comparison but it's like the clone, so it's basically as best you're gonna get. And just for total comparison, the max blade height. Rocker is the same as a 29. Um, most of the height is added on the top of the blade, in my opinion. And again, reaching, comes off, coming back, comes off. Here's basically the merge between the three blades here. So CCM took part of the toe from this, which is the 28. Basically, the heel and forward um, of the 29 to make the nine, uh, P90TM, which is this. So you can see that toe is more open and more like the 28 than it is on the 29. But for shooting, you don't. It doesn't really affect shooting that much because, in my opinion, this, the shots are basically coming off of right here. So the toe doesn't really open up anything when you're shooting, and it shoots just like a 29 going back and forth. I have no issues at all. Accuracy is pretty pretty close to the same. Same with passing. Um, the only difference I notice on the 90 is for stick handling. Like the easier part is like the scooping and everything like that with that toe. Um, because it does just give you a little bit more of a hook to actually grab it. Um, but it doesn't, I think, have the disadvantages of a P28. And it kind of, I like the P29 better. So when I say disadvantages, it's all personal preference. So that little hook on the P90TM, in my opinion, doesn't have the disadvantages of what this one has for shooting and for accuracy and everything like that. It is, and the toe is definitely noticeable and you can see it. And I've had a lot of feedback of people who have seen it and they instantly look at it and say, I don't like it. I was one of those people when I first saw it, I was like, well, I don't know if that would really work for me because I don't like a P28. But I got this and I started shooting with it and I love it because that toe doesn't really come into effect when you shoot. It seems like when the puck is released, it's basically going off of here anyways and it's not going off the toe. Um, so it feels much better in that regards. So I don't think this blade, this I don't think this curve is really going to like change much. I don't think a ton of people are gonna adopt to it. But I, I think that's kind of a shame because I believe they should. And my, if I'm buying CCM sticks in the future, I'm buying a, a P90TM because I didn't notice a change in my shot in terms of like negative accuracy. I found I shot better with this stick than I did the FT2. Um, stick handling was better than with the, the P92 and the P29 because it has that more of a toe and like everything, I enjoyed everything with it. I couldn't find a negative downside to that like little curve. And like I said, the flatter blade's nicer and the little bit max or height, uh, taller height is better too. I'm a huge fan of this blade and I really suggest people to take a look at it. So that's about it for this video on the P90TM uh, blade by CCM. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it was interesting. Um, I definitely recommend people try it out. If you ever, if you are buying a new piece of gear, please check out the link in the description to Pure Hockey. If you make a purchase by clicking through that link and buying something there, I do get a kickback, so it helps support the channel and so I can make more content like this. If you ever do buy a piece of gear because of one of my videos, please reach out to a manufacturer and also let them know. It helps me get on their radar, so hopefully I can actually review some of this stuff and not just do snapshot reviews of, for example, the FT3 Pro. So thank you very much for watching and take it easy. You're watching hockeyreviews.ca.